A lot of people email me asking what's really good for protein and I always tell them the same thing. Quinoa. Quinoa has something like eight grams of protein per cup. It's pretty darn high and um, when you sprout it, you've really increased the nutritional content by a lot. What we're going to make today is tabbouleh. And this is quinoa. I've been soaking it for eight hours and then I've been sprouting it for two days now. And it barely has, it's just starting to have its sprout. For the tabbouleh, I like my food really exciting. Not just plain tabbouleh, parsley and uh, lemon juice, which is basically a regular tabbouleh recipe. But um, today we're gonna have a few more things we're gonna add um, to it, parsley, mint, um, some white onions, and some other stuff. I'll show you as we go along. So to this bowl, I'm going to add about a cup of tabbouleh, and then like the fixings, tomato, which is, Tomatoes normal to um, to go in quinoa or tabbouleh. Uh, tabbouleh isn't a grain; it's actually a seed from the goosefoot plant. But grain seed, I don't care. Whatever. I love tabbouleh for it. Really does have a delicate, nutty flavor. The nutrition and content is through the roof. So that's why I love the quinoa. I'm doing onion next. I used to use white onion a lot. I use purple onion now. It has way more flavor in my opinion. However, I do purchase sweet organic onion, sweet organic white onion when it's available. I think that's a really neat tasting onion too, but yellow onions I really don't have any use for. So I'm adding purple onion and then um, ginger, garlic, and jalapeno. I chop ginger like this first, like that, and then I put it in a nice pile. This is just an idea, a suggestion for you to chop it. And then I chop it um, vertical. Turn it horizontal and then chop it again. And it's usually enough. And you know, I add ginger to it because it's so beneficial for the body as well and also tastes so good. It just adds so much to any dish. Then garlic, again, it's so beneficial to the body, it tastes so good and it adds so much to any dish. And lately I've been into habanero peppers. I'm sure they're a little spicy for some people, but I've been eating habanero peppers for decades now. And I think I'm finally able to tolerate it and appreciate the flavor. But um, if it's a little much for you, then serrano pepper is good, jalapeno pepper. If you don't like um, spicy, you know, I, I'm sorry because <laughs> I used to not like spicy food either until I actually realized how it just adds so much to the dish. But it did take me many, many years. Okay, next um, is parsley. And the way I chop parsley really small is I just take it and scrunch it all up like that and then start slicing it very thinly. And a lot of parsley is great in the tabbouleh adds so much flavor to it and the main ingredients are parsley and quinoa so um, I also like to add a little pinch of cilantro why not cilantro and parsley really go well together it's like bringing Mexicans and Italians together they do bode well together trust me okay so then mint a lot of mint I like a lot of mint it really adds to the dish Minced mint. And then um, bulbous vegetables are just so good for the body. So whenever there's a chance for me to throw some in, I do. You don't have to. It's a great suggestion. It also adds even more to the dish. Thinly sliced. Okay, and uh, so that's it for our additions, now we're gonna spice it up with just a little olive oil. 
and lemon juice and salt and pepper. I'm going to show this to the camera. Okay, we got that. And then we're going to just stir it up. Mm. So, um, you know, for those of you that know me, know that I love to add as much as I can that, that, that goes well with the dish, as the dish can handle. So, I also like to add avocado. It goes delicious with tabbouleh, this dish. And, um... Oh, I forgot the cucumber, <laughs> the main ingredient as well. So some cucumber slices, uh, cubes. And um, at the farmer's market, my farmer's market, they're starting to have, well, sprout people, um, sprout stands are starting to sprout up. So I've taken advantage of that, and I love to buy different sprouts because it really makes your food uh, really pretty, the final product. So here I found dill sprouts. So pretty. Um, so, and they taste really well to, for the dish. Dill goes well in tabbouleh. Ooh. And then here are some flowers from my garden I picked that would look beautiful on it too. Wow, <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay. So here's your tabbouleh, and um, it is so delicious, nutritious, and good for you. And also, another thing you can add if you want is maybe like a dollop of uh, hummus. And then you can might maybe mix it in as you go. It tastes really good. It adds a lot to the dish, too. I forgot about that. And if you also are into spices, um, some cumin and coriander ground powder is excellent in there as well. I'm not going to put it in because it's going to kind of cover up the beauty of the dish. But um, anyways, this is tabbouleh. It's all raw. Look how fast that was. And it's so beautiful. Oops. And it's so delicious. It's so nutritious. And it's chock full of protein. <laughs> this recipe is in our uncookbook, Love on a Plate, on page 86. I hope you guys make this. You'd really be happy with the end result.